We're back in the American Revolution Gallery, and I want to talk a little bit about a woman in Revolutionary War history because she's very fascinating and her story is important. It's only recently where it was known that women were allowed into combat. But what most people do not know is that we have had women fighting in combat since the early days of our nation. For example, I want to talk to you about Margaret Cochran Corbin. Mrs. Corbin was one, was known as a camp follower. In the early days of our nation and warfare, we did not have nurses, we did not have mass units, we had, we didn't have cooks. Uh, women got together, called themselves camp followers. They were stationed far back from the battle, but they were the women that served as pseudo nurses. They cooked the meals for the soldiers. They sewed clothes if they needed it. What, whatever the men needed, the women camp followers do those jobs. And they also will bring water to the cannons as well. That is where the term Molly Pitcher had come from. Molly Pitcher it was a generic term for any woman camp follower who brought water to the cannons to cool off the cannons between firings. One such woman, Mrs. Corbin, she had, some historians believe she dressed as a man and some of them believe that she was a camp follower. But the truth is what we do know for sure is she was at the Battle of Fort Washington in New York. Her husband, during the battle, manned the cannon. She was in the vicinity. Her husband was struck down and killed during the battle. Mrs. Corbin dropped what she was doing, took command of the cannon, and started working the cannon in the middle of the battle. So while she is in the middle of the battle, Mrs. Corbin is shot in the shoulder and taken prisoner. Later, she is freed in a prisoner exchange. Now what later happens to Mrs. Corbin was she never gained the use of her arm through being injured in that battle. And there are documents that had been uncovered to prove everything that had happened to her and also proved that she is not only the first American woman known to have served in American combat. She is also the very first woman to be taken prisoner in combat. And now that she cannot use the use of her arm, she is the very first documented disabled woman American veteran. The documents show that she was the first woman to receive a pension for her military service. Now granted, because she was a woman, she was only given half of what a man would have received. That's unfortunate, but it was great in the fact that she was recognized and granted a pension at that time frame. Also, with Mrs. Corbin not being able to work from being injured in that battle, there are documents on record where people came together and gave her aid and helped her uh, with her living expenses. She's widowed, she's disabled, there's no welfare in those days. Uh, she relied on people who said, hey, she served our revolution, she served our country, we are going to help her. So, uh, Always remember Margaret Cochran Corbin as the very first American woman in combat, the very first American POW woman, the first woman to re receive a pension for military service, and she's also the very first known woman disabled American veteran. And this is from the American Revolution. Now, <laughs> women have done so much more in history than women have given credit for. But we've always been there, we've always been in the fight, and uh, we're just now telling people, hey, we were here, we did this, and
and um, we're going to know about it now. We will not be forgotten in history. Very good. Thank you, Miss Carney, for this. Um, I have to ask, what state was she from? She was from Pennsylvania. Okay. And uh, and she and her husband, uh, I believe he was with the Pennsylvania unit, but they were fighting in Fort Washington, New York on this particular day. Well, thank you very much. And I want to quickly add that the Daughters of the American Revolution give an award in Mrs. Corbin's name called the Daughters of the American Revolution Margaret Cochran Corbin Award. It goes to every year to a woman, an outstanding woman on um, active duty service. Wow, thank you. You're very welcome.